Hey everybody, welcome back to Total War Warhammer with me, Redneck Einstein. How are you all today? Um, today we are in our third episode now, and I just want to go over what our mission is. So, our main quest right now is to capture Grunberg, but uh, there's a there's an overall objective that we need to aim for. And that is to destroy the following faction, the Empire Secessionists. So, I guess we have a choice, really. We can either go for Helmgart or Grunberg. Now, an overview of the previous two episodes. First episode, we were absolutely atrocious as we tried to lay siege and capture Grunberg. Um, we had to run with our tail between our legs back to Rindorf, heal up and everything. Uh, but we did that. Then we went on to Eilhart and conquered Eilhart as well as wiping out a bunch of orcs in this location where I am now. So, let us continue. I think what I'm going to do is head back to Eilhart and then launch an attack on Helmgart for the next mission. So, let's just move ourselves along. And let me just give you a little overview as well. On our technology front, we have begun our research on states state troop standards so that's going to give us cool leadership bonus of plus five for all our empire infantry units and uh, let us continue oh, oh hold on before i go anywhere let me just check on rindorf so rindorf currently has a rally field a imperial wharf and is currently called uh, a village we soon should hopefully be able to upgrade that to a town um alhart need some repairs doing and some upgrades so we're currently doing that and um, i think we'll just end the turn right there that's a nice introduction hope you're all doing good by the way and enjoying this series i uh, want to give a big shout out once again to ash and crow for purchasing this game for me and making it possible for me to play it on the channel thank you ever so much dude ready. right look at our troops they look like they're ready to go uh, i've left some space i haven't recruited any more troops uh, i figure maybe we can get some heroes in there but maybe we should wait one more turn, recruit some more troops, and then go on the offensive. So I think we'll get one more crossbowman, and one more spearman with shields. There we go. And we'll just wait this wait this final turn in Alhart. Most of our troops should be healed, and then we'll move on to Helmgart to lay siege and try to unite our faction once more. Here we go. Oh, Alhart has like a little upgrade I can do there as well. And I will fight with you. There we go. Look at the state of these guys. The balance of power is strongly in my favor, so we're going to go ahead and fight this battle. Hopefully, we'll just uh, end up capturing uh, this town. I, I have been reading on the forums and stuff that you don't necessarily need to capture them, but uh, I think it's good for our economy if we do. It can only make us stronger, right? Provided we keep the public order in in order. <laughs> Then uh, we should be good. We'll be able to make more money and hire a bigger and better army, I think. Okay, so here is the lay of the land. I wonder where the enemy are going to come from. Up there, I assume. Uh, first of all, let me select my army. Now, I now you'll be pleased to hear. I now know how to group my troops. So what I'm going to do is put all my swordsmen together into one group. So they're now called group two. Uh, my halberdiers and my spearmen can go in my second group. And my ranged troops can go in the third group. And that leaves us with the cavalry. So, what do we want to do? I suppose it would be a good idea to get my archers going up through the trees here so they don't know they're coming. Uh, also, my cavalry probably as well. Let's put them up there. And the rest of you, I think I'm happy with. Let's get some, let's get some spearmen on this side. Kind of want to mix up my army a little bit so that they're not all, they're not all sort of spearmen on one side and all swordsmen on the other side. So let's do that. Let's get these. And this should be a relatively easy battle. So there we go. There is the enemy in front of us. Let us begin marching forward. Take the ground. Now, if I hide inside here, some of my troops, they won't know they're coming. <laughs> right, let's get my archers behind the tree line there, and we can perhaps use them to approach from the side. There we go. 
Carl Franz has gone charging off into the distance on his own. Carl Franz, I might put you in the tree line there. There we go. They're trying to re they're trying to maneuver themselves. Ha! We're gonna kick your ass. So I could just go straight into battle and then start picking them off. Which I might do. Let's just charge towards them. There we go. And these guys will approach from the flank and they won't know what hit them. We'll pick them off around the side. Alright, you stand back here, Carl Franz. I can't afford to lose you. You must lead the battle. Lead your troops to war. There we go. Alright, guys. Engage! Alright, we'll get the spearmen to attack their spearmen. Swordsmen to attack that side. And we'll get some swordsmen to attack that side. Where are my archers and stuff? Oh, horsemen, you're being attacked. Okay, ready? Archers, get ready to fire! We might as well get some of our archers taking on their range troops. And hopefully this should go well. Alright, let's get my horsemen into the trees. And if I check on my troops, I can actually see if they're firing or if they're obstructing. Or obstructed, sorry. They're all good. Alright. Get to battle, Karl Franz. You must join the attack. There we go, my... We've got a big clump of troops happening here. So, let's get some swordsmen to go after their swordsmen. And we're being surrounded. But I think we're going to do alright because we're kicking their butt. Like, uh, from the flanks here. Alright, where's my cavalry? Let's get them to charge in from behind on their archers and chase them out of the way. They've already got one group of uh, crossbowmen leaving the field. I like I like looking at these. Look, we've already near enough broken these spearmen. They can't handle it. They cannot handle the attack. Let's get their spearmen. Uh, their crossbowmen. Charge that guy in. And we're taking a lot of damage here. Halberdiers. Charge cavalry. I really like using the cavalry. Just to run their troops down. Let's charge. Continue our charge into them. Are they still fresh? They are. They're eager. Oh my god, and we sent them scattering like dominoes. Let's continue that run into the back of their swordsmen. There we go, and there's Carl Franz in the thick of things. Right, what I'm going to do is get my archers to fire at this big clump of troops over here. Let's just run them over this side. How is the battle going? Yeah, they're down to less than 900 troops. They're actually doing alright though. Alright, run cavalry! They're trying to regroup. Ready, aim, fire! Are they obstructed there? No, they're all good. Yeah, look, my cavalry are chasing down all their archers. That's what I like to see. How are they doing? Shaken. In melee, unit losing. Aha! You will fail. All right, we pretty much chased them out of the way. So let's go and charge into these crossbowmen who think they can have a field day. How are we doing? Picking these off. Let's take. Let's aim at some of these swordsmen down here. Now, what, what I really like to do is zoom in and see the combat at close quarters, but it's difficult when you're. Uh... Right, let's get these guys over here. It's difficult when you're in the heat of combat and you're needing to manage the tactics. But victory is nearly in our grasp. Right. Cavalry, charge! Right into the back of this massive troop here. You shall not pass. Oh, look at these spearmen just murdering them from afar. Let's give these troops some support down here. Oh, cool. Look at how close that is. Yeah, go, pistoliers. Or handgunners. Look at that. Oh, boom. Okay, let's take a look at the numbers. We've still got just over a thousand troops. And they've dropped down below 400. If you take a look at the numbers, I think tactically, I've murdered them. Where's Karl Franz? There he is, just standing there alone. Go into the back of these swordsmen. Boom! Oh, he charged into them. Lovely. There's some spearmen there who think they can have their wicked way. Cavalry, charge! Victory is ours! That was an epic performance. Let's take a look at the final stats. Yeah, we've still got a thousand troops left. I'm tempted to save the replay there. That was one of my better military performances.
Wow, look, they've only got 400 and what's that? 415 troops left, and we've still got a thousand. So this place will now be occupied, but we've got quite a few injuries, so we're going to need to uh, settle down for a little while and just recover in the towns, make sure everything's being built, upgraded, etc. To increase our economy. Ooh, a nice bonus of 907 gold added to the coffers. And settlement capture. So we could raid it, raise it to the ground, but I like the I like the idea of occupying it. It's going to give us a province instability of minus three. Conquest penalty in public order of minus ten, but it's going to give us 15% unit replacement. So let's do that. Yes, we have finally killed Helmut Ludenhoff, our enemy. Thank you. And ah, oh, cool. We got a follower of our legendary lord Karl Franz. Who's a pit fighter? And he's got melee attack plus seven. Excellent. What's this? Enchanted item. Ooh. A shard of blackest night said to be a prison for the partial essence of the trickster himself. Any close to it may be undone by its troubling aura. Passive ability, the other trickster's shard. What is that? So it's a hex area, instantly affects targets in area. Duration constant. Target around self. Affects enemies in range. So what the hell does that do? Minus 20% damage resistance. Huh? To them? I assume it's to them. Alright, cool. Right, now. Victory in hand. We can now start to improve these areas. So, Eilhart and Helmgart are available to be upgraded. So, Eilhart would turn into a village. And that gives us uh, in extra income, extra public order, some growth. Get two new construction slots. And all is good there. Over here in Eilhart, looks like we can upgrade our farm. Which will increase our casualty replenishment rate. Or we've got a spare construction slot, which we can use for military recruitment, military support, defense, or infrastructure. I think we need to generate some monthly income. So I'm going to go for the weaving house. And there we go. So Alhar, you're busy being upgraded. Oh, you can still upgrade your farm too. There we go. It costs another thousand, but it needs to be done. Now, what on earth is going on here? It looks like these guys are having a fight. Um, is it time? I wonder where our pit fighter is as well. Let's have a little look at our character details. So there's our enchanted item. The Pit Fighter and an Apprentice Wizard. So do they join me in battle or what? What? What's the deal with these guys? It's unclear. Well, looks like we already had the Apprentice Wizard. And I didn't see him on the battlefield, so I guess not. Interesting. Let's end our turn. Oh yes, we still got a skill point to spend for Karl France. And what shall we do? Hold the line. Pistol Core. So plus 3% ammunition. Or speed of horse. Hmm. What do we choose? Or hard to hit. I think I'll go for the hard to hit, maybe. And then that'll unlock devastating charge, full plate armor, scarred veteran, etc. Yeah, let's go for hard to hit. That sounds like a good thing. Plus five melee defense. And not a lot we can do this turn. How's our army doing? 19 out of 20. All right, we're good. Let's end our turn on a high note. Everything looks to be in order. Over to the enemy. Oh, who's this guy? Orcs! A strategic overview can be useful in such uncertain times, sir. Yeah, I don't want to do no strategic overview. I'm going to battle with the Orcs! Wait a second. Cancel move. Why would I want to cancel it? Neck snappers. Surely I want to kill the rex neck snappers. Or I could go and attack these. Hands the astute of the Empire Secessionists. And that will help out these guys who look like dwarves. Men, we must Let's attack. see if we can attack these. We'll flank them from the side. Oh no, we need to wait another turn. Ah, we've got another technology to start to researching too. State Troop Sergeants, which will give us plus two unit experience for our empire. Ah, for recruits. Okay. No problemo. Let's end our turn. Now we're on, I think we're on turn 12 now. I'm pretty happy with my progress. They look, the orcs have come closer to us. Oh, we could end up having a fight with both of these. Oh, he's run away again. All right, mate, see you later. Bring me to my men. 
There we go. We are declaring war against the neck snappers. You have elected to declare war upon the neck snappers. What the hell? Strength rank 49. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we're not ready for that yet. Watch. I apologize. Carry on on your way. I think we'll head back towards Grimberg. I will fight with you. <laughs> you carry on looting my land, sir. I don't know if I'm in a position to defeat you yet. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I didn't miss any upgrades or anything. I could have done that turn. Grimberg looks like it's strengthening. It looks like there's quite a nice big army in there. Faction destroyed. Neck snappers have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. Well, that doesn't make sense because they said they had 49 strength. What the hell? What's this? A stranger comes. A cloaked stranger from the mist-shrouded land of Albion approaches with a request. He is of sinister aspect but assures you that his intentions are good. So grant what request? The promises of riches and power are beguiling and the cost is so little... This may well be a worthy investment and a chance to scry the hidden land of Albion. So that puts some chaos corruption in our area, I think. Or well, we can refuse him and that will reduce vampiric and chaos corruption. Well, why wouldn't I refuse him then? That completely makes sense, I think. Right, let's march. Oh, hold on. Grunberg is now owned by these guys. Vissenland. Right, let's take a little look at our strategic overview then. How do we do that? Objectives, technology, treasury, faction summary, diplomacy. There we go. Vissenland, there they are. Well, their attitude towards us is already deteriorating. They don't look that strong. Let's see if we can uh, go to war and see if this is a winnable war as well. No allies are getting involved. Attack! All right. Whatever, we want Grumberg, so screw you. It looks like the balance of power is in my favor. Yep. And they've got two heroes, Eben von Lieb Liebwitz and Heinz van Stroll. Right. Well, let us go to battle. The battle will be won by the mighty Rheinsteinian Empire. Eh, we could have healed a little bit more before we went into battle, but I'm quite confident in my crossbowmen kicking their ass from afar. All right, what have they got? They got four crossbowmen and what looks like a mortar or a cannon. Hmm. All right. Well, fingers crossed. If we lose, we lose. Let me do my first thing here. Put my melee at the front. Now, I guess what I want to do is try and get my archers up on this hill. So I'm going to group my soldiers first. All right, we'll put all of those together, I think. Then we'll have to spearmen in the second group. Range troops in the third. And that leaves the horse cavalry. Okay. So, number four. Yeah, let's get you up here. And then we're going to march you up over the hill so they don't know you're coming. Same with the cavalry. And... Let's move him a bit closer. There we go. I guess we want to be in a different formation. Like that, maybe. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Start battle! We shall advance on thee! Actually, we could go in through the cover of the trees. Yes, then they won't know we're here. But then that... No, then that leaves my archers and stuff really exposed. Alright, you guys begin your walk this way. I wonder if they're going to try and take this high ground. If I were them, I would. Oh, God. They've already got mortars firing at me. Right. Let us just march straight up that hill and fight them, then. All right, you guys, quickly. Ah! Ah! Pause, 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 pause. Slow down. Where's, where's my main man? There he is. Come back. All right, you guys, prepare for battle. Right, we'll get some swordsmen fighting this lot. More swordsmen fighting this lot. And where are my archers? Really far away. Come on, dudes, get up there, run. There we 
we go. That's it. You fight these. These decided to come and attack you. So we'll kick their ass. It looks like I'm going to get my ass kicked. Charge. Go, Carl Franz. Yeah, Carl Franz is holding the line here. All on his own, like a boss. All right, cavalry. Smash into the back of these spearmen. Bosh. Oh, yes. That worked well. All right, let's go and attack their mortars. That is going to cause me way too much damage otherwise. All right, quickly. Quickly, archers. Fire into the morass. I think we're getting our ass kicked. That's it. Fire. Cavalry. Retreat. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we'll lure them towards all our archers. Quickly, archers. I guess you're knackered riding, running up this hill. Alright, let's give some support over to our meleeing troops over here. There we go. Yeah, look, and as they run at us, we're just going to pick them off. Hey! Stop shooting at us! Hand gunners attack their archers! Oh yeah, look, here comes our cavalry galloping in. Alright, take a breather, guys. And charge! Oh, plowed straight into their swordsman, but didn't do very good. Oh, I think we're, we need to get over this hill a little bit more. Uh, retreat! Let's get our hand gunners to retreat. And as their swordsmen chase us, we'll pick them off. Oh god, look at our spearmen holding the line over there. Are we doing good? Yeah, they're losing more troops than we are. Alright. Let's charge with my cavalry into their mortars again. Ah, my warriors flee! Screw you! Yeah, we need to take care of those mortars. That's like the main priority. <laughs> Some of them are fleeing. All right, these guys are not even in combat. Move! All right, cavalry. On me! Into their archers. Whoa, we got 900 troops. They've got about 800. Fire! Oh, man. Our crossbowmen, I think, are going to save the day here. Oh, got some handgunners up here. Come on, you guys, line up and fire! That's it, look, you can see them dropping. One or two are just collapsing. And this huge morass of arrows is firing down from the side. Ah, cavalry. Retreat! No, actually, carry on your way over there. Where's Carl Franz? Oh, God, Carl Franz, get out of battle. Quick, run! I cannot afford to lose Carl. Yeah, go and support these guys. Now they're going to go into battle. Missiles at the ready. Missiles are at the ready. Shoot these swordsmen. I'm just going to keep an eye on this number here for a second to see if that drops. Let me see. Yeah, they're down to 66, 65. Oh, all oh, these arrows are dropping them slowly. And the tide of battle is going my way ever so slightly. I'm going to put Carl Franz behind all these archers here because he's getting his ass kicked. Ready for war. Yeah, look at this. Go on, you, you two swordsmen assault their spearmen. They're shaken. Friends are routing. Well, now they're steady. Surround them. Oh, yeah, halberdiers. You, ch you charge after their crossbowmen. Oh, there's my knights. You better come back. Hey, hold on. Eben von Liebwitz is charging after me. He's probably trying to get Carl France. No. Oh, we need to butcher their leader. Eben von Liebwitz. Come on, guys. Fire at, the, fire at him. Turn and shoot. Alright, I think some of you are just standing around being lazy. 
route is nearly over. Look at that, they're down to 350-ish. <laughs> Even von Liebwitz is still confident, mate. The rest of your team is not so confident. Da -da 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 oh, he charged into me. Oh, France, Jesus, man, you nearly did. All right, how am I doing, everyone? All right, I think I'm gonna get everyone back here. And then as they follow us, we'll just shoot them from afar. Hand gunners, turn! Let's get hold of my range troops now and move them over here. This big guy, their, their leader, Ivan van Liebwitz, is causing mayhem. If I just get my melee troops to surround him, we'll be golden, baby. Oh man, they're starting to recover good, though. Fire! Come on, chuck loads of arrows this way at these. They're the only ones who are causing any damage right now, pretty much. Wow, this guy, even von Liebwitz, is tough as hell. I think the battle's starting to swing back in their favor. Ah, they got archers running at me. Shoot them as they come up the hill. Spearmen, advance! Okay, how's it going now? Five. This is an epic battle. Biggest battle I've had so far. Yeah, look, they can't handle this onslaught as they come up the hill. Look, da -da 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 -da. Oh, boom! Oh, come on, victory's so close. We're gonna need to recover forever after this. Where did their leader go? There he is. Shoot him! Yeah, look, these are wavering. What about these guys? They're shaken, damage sustained. If I had a magician, we could just rain down rocks upon them. That would be epic. Okay, we've still got 500 troops. They actually had more troops than me when we started. Tactically, this is a bit of a... Not exactly a masterclass, but uh, we've done well, I think. Chase their enemy, their leader from the field. Oh, they're all running. They've only got 143 left. <laughs> I think I, don't, I wonder what the end state is like if they just decide to all leave the map and then that's basically when you win I don't quite know but I know we're kicking their butt where's uh, my leader Carl Francia he's still good up there keep chasing them alright you guys might as well help it's literally their leader versus my army now I think <laughs> And he's slowly coming to a, the end of his life. Where is he? There he is. Victory! Hallelujah! Oh, wow. What a battle. That was monumental. And I overcome odds that were pretty... I didn't think they were in my favor. When you look at the amount of troops deployed, I think... Well, actually, that says... If you add those two together, it says I've got more troops. But when we were on the battlefield, it said they had more troops. Either way, I won. Yay! A Pyrrhic victory. I don't even know what Pyrrhic means. But I'm sure it's good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, look, we killed both their leaders as well. That's got to be a good thing. 1,059 loot. And let's occupy Grunberg. That should meet the... Ah, oh, we got a banner gained. The ranger's standard grants being beings under its banner the agility and the wherewithal to scout ahead of the enemy. Attribute Strider. Assigned unit. Hmm. I'm going to have to Google that and see how I use that. I'm not sure. Province secured. Reichland. I have united Reichland under the power of Redneck Einstein. It's now possible to issue a commandment across the land. A commandment may be issued by a faction in a province it controls completely. Commandments provide powerful bonuses and may be issued from the province info panel. Excellent. 
Uh, Captain Grimberg, another Sorted tasty reward. Middenheim is sending help to the secessionists in an effort to destabilize the Empire, intercept their reinforcements, and demonstrate to Todbringer that there is but one master of Reichland. Ooh, so we've got a new battle set up already, ba the Battle of Blood Pine Woods. I'm pretty sure we're not in a position where we can actually uh, fight that war yet. So the next episode is going to see us recovering and recruiting a bigger army ready for the Battle of Blood Pine Woods. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like. Uh, consider sponsoring me on Patreon if you enjoy my content. Uh, there's a link in the description. And also, um, send me any thoughts you may have on the video. Thanks ever so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.